Hey, in last week's video, we were talking about how to optimize the header tags on your website for SEO. So Google knows what your site's about and you can rank higher in the search results. However, I wanted to take a deeper dive in this video and just elaborate further on what we were talking about last time and add in a couple of additional techniques that are really going to help you boost your rankings and your overall website traffic. So if you remember from last video, which if you haven't watched it, I'll leave a link down in the description where you can go check it out. It's only like five minutes long. So, But if you remember, we were talking about how when you use header tags on your website, you want to use one H1 tag, one H2 tag, and the rest H3 tags. And we talked about how you can use the inspect element tool to see that this is an H1, this is an H2, and the rest of these are H3s. However, there's more to it than that. So the actual terms that you use, the actual keywords that you use in each of these titles tell Google more about your page on your website and what it should rank for in the organic search results. So for this website that we're using as an example, Z-Girls Guide, the main term that we want to rank this site for is Z-Girls because people search Z-Girls and they find these grills and we sell them, right? It's pretty straightforward. So the H1 tag, meaning the very first title tag, the main title tag, and the only H1 tag on is this term Z Grills. And we do that because the very first title on the website or headline, the H1 tag, should contain your main keyword, meaning, and this is for the home page of your website. And I mean, We'll, we'll get into it a little deeper here, but for the home page, your your main term is your main category term. So we sell Z grills, so it, this would be Z grills. If we were a dentist in Chicago, it would be Chicago dentist. You, I think you kind of get the idea. And then every page on this website is going to be about Z grills. So this one's about the Z grill 700D, which is just one of the products essentially that is being sold through this website. And so this H1 tag right here is Zgrill 700D, which is a term that people search for when they're looking for this grill. So again, even on this product page, the H1 has the main keyword in it. And it's not helpful really to add in a whole bunch of other stuff. There's a tendency to want to beef it up and be like, you know, Z Grills, the most amazing, awesome grills you're ever going to buy anywhere. Buy today. <laughs> you know, just keep adding and adding and adding to it. But that detracts from Google's ability to know what this homepage and this website is about. So that's why we've kept it as simple as possible with just Z Grills. Now, with the H2 tag, the second header right here, the H2 is supposed to support the H1. So, Z Grills, level up your grill game. So we're talking again about grills, your grill game, leveling up. This is more so to get people's imagination going about what it would be like to own a grill. Uh, but it's also supporting Z grills because we're talking about a grill right here. And then the H3 tags should support these as well. So welcome to the next generation of outdoor grills. Still in alignment with both of these. We're talking about Z grills, how you can level up your grill, and now we're talking about the next generation of outdoor grills. So you can see it, it's 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 taking somewhat of a logical sequence here, how pellet grills work, extremely easy to use and clean up. So as Google's going down the page, it's going, okay, they're talking about Z grills and improving the people's grill game. They're talking about the next generation of outdoor grills, how pellet grills work. So Google's starting to get a sense that yeah, this page is about pellet grills. It's about Z Grills pellet grills. And if somebody's searching for these, I want to put this page in front of them where they're going to find it. So all you need to do is, first of all, if you haven't watched the old video, make sure you only have one H1 tag, one H2 tag, and the rest H3 tags on each of your pages. And then make sure you have your main term, whatever term you want the page to rank for, needs to be in the H1 tag and then you need to support that with relevant related content in the H2 tag as well as the H3 tags going down the page. 
And when you start setting up your pages in that way, Google's going to start to understand in more depth what your page is about and the secondary things that your page is about. So not only is it going to help you rank higher for your main term, but also any secondary terms that that page is ranking for. So I hope you found that helpful. If you did have any questions, go ahead and drop them in the comments below. I'll answer them there. And until next time, take care.